think for me as an actress and being trained in the theater, I think the position that you always want to try and get to is to pick your projects and also pick projects, even when you don't have that advantage, that have the best writing or the best stories being told. And uh, what was so interesting for me, having this huge success later on in my career, in my 40s, uh, and now turning this into something in my 50s, and the kind of stories that I'm attracted to, also the kind of roles that are available, because everyone knows that this is a youth-oriented world, society, and of course our movies and television reflect that. But what really struck me when I first saw Sensitive Skin, the original UK version by the same name, starring Joanna Lumley, is that it was so fresh, really. I'd never, I'd never seen this story being told. And I, it was done with humor, it was done with intelligence. I could be this character of a certain age who was still incredibly vital and uh, not discarded. And what is her journey? What does she have to say? What happens to you as you get older? Where do you find your place, not only in film and television again, but in, in the world? So I found this to be uh, really exciting and a new frontier, similar to what I covered in Sex and the City, with women in their 40s and 50s, and also not just about the question of sexuality, but the question of what is my next act? Yeah, last year I did a play at the Old Vic which Kevin Spacey uh, runs. He's the artistic director there. And both he and I have a similar trajectory that we made a success in England, back and forth in the States and in England. And we also had Jack Lemmon in common. He said to me, I was, God, in my late teens, early 20s when I worked with him in a film called Tribute. And I said to him, you know, I, how do you have longevity? How do you do it? And he said, take things that scare the pants off of you kid that's what he said to me and I have always heard that voice in my head and I, I think it is scary to take on subject matter which is controversial in a way I mean uh, I think it's scary to be that vulnerable about a woman who's going through issues of aging and maturity that most people especially women don't want to talk about so uh, I'm drawn to writing and also challenges because of those experiences. Because I feel it's important for women my age to have a voice. And I'm passionate about that. I don't want to disappear. Uh, I think that women are thought to disappear, or asked to disappear, to age, because we don't want to see that, because I think it reflects in how we're aging as an audience. So I want to change that in some, some way, and also do it through humor, and do it through storytelling. I discovered so clearly being involved with Sex in the City that you could really open up and change people's minds in a non-threatening way using intelligence and humor. So I felt as certainly as I did about Sex in the City as I did about Sensitive Skin is that it can be a game changer if it's done well. And I'm so excited to share it with everyone because I think that we have, we've achieved that. My, my sense of humor, because of playing Samantha Jones for so long, is always surrounded around sexual metaphor. So I feel that in some ways I'm losing my virginity today uh, in the sense of being an executive producer and taking a show that I love and believe in and uh, sharing it with people and really getting the feedback. Uh, we've shown a little bit at different festivals of the first scenes. And I was recently on The View with Barbara Walters, who's about to retire, and they asked me to come on before that event happens. And we showed the ladies just a little clip and, and the audience, which was a great reaction. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm so glad that I learned so much, and I'm so glad that I stuck it out so I can get to a day like this at MIP and um, celebrate it, that it got made. <laughs> Kim Cattrall came to me, uh, she had seen this British series, Sensitive Skin, um, and she asked me if I'd like to direct and star in it opposite her, which was both daunting propositions. And, um, and she'd, she'd been driving it for a couple of years, a number of years, it was really a passion project for her. So yeah, she, took, she was the one that brought me into it and Bob Martin, the other executive producer, uh, with the three executive producers. and. Um, 
it's a story about a couple who move from the suburbs downtown to try and rejuvenate their relationship and then it all completely backfires so so it was a big big creative thing uh, to adapt it to North American sensibility to uh, modernize it a little bit set in Toronto where there's a huge condo boom and uh, so I was the guy Yes, we worked with Kim very early on in the process. I got to know her. Um, we talked for uh, months <laughs> about um, you know where she is in her own life, and uh, and it, and it was clear that she she became uh, Davina sort of grew out of Kim um, very much. So it's a it, this particular Davina is different from the one in the original. There's a bit of more of an edge to her. Um, we've really tried to fold in Kim's personality into this role. Um, so, absolutely, it was tailor-made for her. 